Good morning, it's Thursday, April 30th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Branded, and our scripture is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. I've never heard of shepherds branding their sheep. According to Jesus, it's entirely unnecessary because the relationship is deeper than the skin's surface. John 10, verse 27, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. More about my interest in tattooing in a moment. First, a disclaimer. I am neither a proponent of nor an opponent of tattoos. I do not judge the worth of anyone who chooses to adorn themselves with ink. That said, as an art form, tattooing is not something today's generation discovered. People have been inking themselves for thousands of years. Like all personal choices, hairstyles, fingernail length and decor, music, clothing and accessories, popularity of style is momentary and varies within cultures. It rises and falls on everything from whimsy to social outcry. I am, however, more curious about what the numbers might look like if you tried to figure out the why of people choosing to get tattoos. To name a few categories, there are it's pretty, or manly macho, or it's my social statement, or it's my identity, such as a club or a gang. The list goes on. All choices are personal. Some are deeply meaningful and some border on just filling time. The closest I ever got to a physical tattoo was a few marks I didn't choose. Targets, really. They were the location points for radiation due to throat cancer. The markers disappeared eventually. Now, the tattoo or brand that I did choose was the Psalm 23 type. The sheep branding of the heart, where you're known by the good shepherd, is that which brings you safely through a lifetime of both sorrow and joy. It's the seal of God placed by the Spirit of God in the heart of one who has accepted the offer of God to be saved by the blood of the Son of God. Christ followers are branded with the seal of the Holy Spirit. It's a promise of things to come, of eternal life, joy, and peace, not only in heaven, but here and now, through this current life of toil and pain and darkness. The seal of the Spirit is, like the ink artwork in fashion today, a deeply personal choice. It isn't a matter of putting your name on a church roll or going through somebody's prescribed rituals. It's a matter of surrendering your heart to be sealed. That means surrendering your will, bending your choices to fit what God has ordained, not what simply pleases you. Following Christ is all about personal choice. Jesus chose to frame the relationship he offers as sheep with a shepherd. Sheep are led by one who's worthy to follow and trust, not like cattle which must be driven or dangerous wild animals which must be tamed or incarcerated or killed, Those who follow Christ follow a worthy, good shepherd, one who lays down his life for his sheep. For you today, to be branded his means you'll begin to recognize his voice and follow where he leads. That is, after all, the nature of sheep and shepherds. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.